Yeah. So what is success to you? Success to me is to be honored and loved and respected. And how you go about that uh, and what is attached to all of that, uh, it's also success is feeling good about yourself when you go to bed at night and you haven't cheated anybody, you haven't lied yeah. to anybody, <laughs> yeah. you don't have yeah. to tracks, you have a good night's rest. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Family is success to me. Come um, on my children serve the Lord, that's success to me. Having them love their children, having my brothers uh, see their families grow and, and uh, my mother and father, when we get to all be together, um, ha seeing other people be blessed because the Lord allowed me to um, help them because they were in a, a, a way that they needed a little bit more help, that's success to me. Mm -hmm. um, the other stuff that comes with success, that's just the whipped cream um, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, I, I really love your definition of success, and uh, that's exactly my definition of success as well. But I heard somebody, um, Grant Cardone, he said, success to me, if I want to go to Paris right now, I go to Paris right now. <laughs> you know, I don't have to like request a time right now. I don't have to put in the time and get it approved and, and have to hear the attitudes of other people. I don't want to worry about money is not, the money is a problem. I don't want to worry about, oh, this hotel is too expensive. I cannot stay in that. We have to find an affordable house. Um, and success is, um, you know, to spend more time with the family. Um, I think um, having all the money, having every single thing uh, this thing you want in the world and not be able to spend time with the family i, I don't define as a success so this is uh, i will say that um um this is something that you have money but not family quality time because success to me is a quality time if you can spend time with the people that you love a quality time and and can give your best to it because that all i have you know i can give you all the money but i will get later on some more money but if i cannot give you my time i'm not as successful right so success is to me is that for what for an example is i read where someone had posted that a billionaire um in uh, i think in france i'm please don't quote me but anyway what it happened he did pass away from the COVID 19 all alone no family with him and, um, you know, the daughter posted that, you know, how sad that money made no difference this time. Come it on. No this time. So, um, I, I look, I'm with Grant. I want to be able to drop what I'm doing, <laughs> get on a plane and hop to Paris. I love Paris. So, and I've been a couple of times. But yeah, I'm with it. Let's, let's, hey, let's be, you know, it's about priorities. Yes. Uh, that's that's the side benefit of creating, a, you know, uh, the other thing, the other people that you've poured into their lives. When you go, you don't have any guilt. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with you. And let me ask you, uh, as we um, heading towards uh, the end of our show, I, I want to also ask you, what is... Um, the people who are listening, this is a very loaded question, and uh, you can um share your you know how you um uh, seen yourself and uh, how you other view and uh, what your desires are you know in order to be what people need to do to become a successful what is it what people need to do what is the sauce they could f follow to beca become successful not wow. just only wealth but peace wise as well well here's the, here's the thing um uh, number one um I think the most successful people that I know, first of all, know who they are in Christ. They have accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior, number one. I, I'm not, I, I know a lot of successful people, but I've got to tell you, if you don't have a faith, uh, you're going to live in fear constantly. Come on. You've got to have faith to, in order to even um, be able to have even a, a modicum of success. That's how I feel. Because you remember the story or um, the end of, um, I, I love Harrison Ford's uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark movies, okay? I think it was the third one or well, the second one when he is going to get the cup where they have to, he has to cross over the ravine uh, to get the cup. I would have to watch that movie. Never watch that. 
Well, anyway, he had to step out. And I, if I had the clip, my brothers know I love this movie. So, but he had to step out onto this ravine that looked like there was nothing there. And actually, the minute that he put his foot there, all of a sudden this path opened up that went across, okay, to the other side of this ravine. Point being, anybody that's successful has to have faith to take risk. Come on. Why not join that faith with the real, really, the, the man, the, the, as some people say, the man upstairs, I, the, the God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Ghost. That's the, to me, that's success. Okay. Number one. Yeah. Number two, prayer time. Anybody that I know that, um, that really and truly has um, the ability to have that kind of faith is because they've taken time in the morning. First thing, it talks about King David in Psalms. It talks about him getting up early in the morning and having his time with the Lord, praising the Lord early in the morning while I rise to praise your name. Yes. So we, you know, um, I, I believe in getting up in the morning. First thing is get into the word, get his word in me, then find literature, find success books, find leadership books that, and, and here's the other thing I don't, um, most of our uh, leadership gurus right now have strong faith in God. Mm. They're, they're, they're all of their leadership quotes, their leadership um, uh, strengths. They are related right back to, and they will, and they are founded in the word of the Lord. And so, um, so I, I believe in having prayer. I believe in filling ourselves up with uh, positive, positive information. And look, right now, you've got to fight the fear. You know, mm -hmm. you've got to take every thought captive and make it obedient. Yes. To Jesus Christ. Because sometimes our thoughts will run with us and we'll take off. And the next thing you know, we are off, you know, chasing after something that was, that's not even, it's not even a thing. Just yeah. creates this chaos, right? Yeah. So to be to, to success to me, um, number one is, um, you, you know, having our faith. Number, two, faith. number three, be an encourager. Always be encouraging someone. I, I want to I want to read to you that um, Romans 12 and 8 says this. If your gift is to encourage others, be encouraging. If it is giving, give generously. If God has given you leadership ability, take the responsibility seriously. And if you have a gift for showing kindness to others, do it gladly. Wow. I love it. I want that some of it too, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but I also know that givers, leaders are givers. You know, yes. we know that leader, you know, leaders are readers. We know that. But I also know that successful Robert Kiyosaki, um, we've got people that uh, uh, Mike Maloney, these are economists. Uh, they will tell you right off the top, the first thing they do is they give their 10%. Mm -hmm. uh, what is that? That's tithing. Yeah, that is a, a biblical format uh, and formula, but they give givers, uh, givers, leaders are givers and yeah. and successful, successful people are givers. Now, there's those that are not. We know that that's there's always yeah. the that's not or the two that are not that. But those are not the ones I see the people that truly have made an impact in my life. They give and I've watched God build them, grow them, um, debt, become debt free, become, but they're faithful. You know, they're, they're consistent. Successful people are consistent. Uh, I'm sorry, consistent. They, they do. I think there's uh, five things that they do in one hour. When wow. they, uh, there's, you know, so those are the things that I would say, you know, find your, find your, find your, um, just that, that, that consistency every morning. And that sets your pace, that sets your day, and stay in that path and don't get deterred from it. Wow, that's fantastic. I love it, everybody. This is Jen Ederholt. Do I say it correctly? Mm -hmm. Ederholt, all the way from Texas. So we're going to um, jump right into the prayer. And I'm going to ask everybody who are watching right now and will be watching later on, please take a moment and type your prayer right below this um, broadcast. We want to pray for you. And uh, we want to encourage you and uh, 
here over to Jen. Jen, please take a moment and pray for people. Pray for healing, deliverance, breakthrough, encourage. Uh, pray for um, people to be motivated, people to be recovered, restored, and um, and people to be blessed. Here over to you. All right. Well, first of all, I just want to tell you.